China is coming back to Etsy, probably. Here's everything you need to know about China's probable re-inclusion back onto the Etsy marketplace. And I say re-inclusion, is that even a word? I don't know. But China used to be on Etsy. Up to 2021, China were on Etsy and then they were removed. And now at looking at their Etsy payments approved country list here, you can see China is on the list. So everyone's making videos about this at the moment, China coming back to Etsy, should we be worried, all this, all that stuff. And I've put together some thoughts that I want to share with you guys about China being back on the Etsy platform. It's, from Etsy's perspective, a very, very sensible decision to make because Etsy knows, they've already told us that it's going to be flat performance wise this year on the platform. Last year was not good performance for Etsy. They need to bring more money in. And China is a huge, huge country full of people. And it, they just see dollars in their eyes, right? And why wouldn't they? But from a seller's perspective, things could go very, very wrong. And Etsy don't have a great track record in making the right decisions. And if they do make a, 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 a good decision, running it in the right way, they just tend to drop too many balls. So here's the four things that I want to talk about with you guys today about China coming back to, to, to Etsy. So the first thing is, you know, Etsy will have to police the onboarding of Chinese sellers. They have to. So when I joined Amazon a couple of years ago, I had to go through a 10 minute video, sitting, talking to a representative, and they onboarded me. I had to show my passport, I had to show other details to them to prove I really was who I said I was. And these sellers in China will need to do that. If Etsy aren't gonna make a colossal cock up of this, they're gonna need to do video interviews with sellers. And people say, oh, you know, oh, but other countries do break trademark and copyright. Yes, they do. But China has incredibly efficient um, uh, wages and, and money situation. So things can get produced for incredibly cheap labor costs and money, right? So yes, other people break the law, but there are so many sellers in China waiting to break the law on Etsy. There's no doubt about it. And you know, if anyone wants to come at me on that, come at me. I deal with people all the time in my consultancy from China trying to get onto Etsy. And I see what they want to sell. And it's breaking the law and it's breaking TOS. And every single time I see them, I say, look guys, you can't do this. You can't come onto Etsy expecting to sell Taylor Swift stuff or famous bands or famous movie stars, right? There's gonna be so many sellers trying to do that. So Etsy must have strict onboarding procedures in place. I wanna say, I hope they do, right? I, I wanna say, yeah, I think they've got it sorted, but a huge part of my brain thinks they haven't. If they're not doing video interviews, bucket loads of sellers are gonna get onto Etsy breaking TOS and breaking copyright and trademark law. So. If Etsy police it properly, it could be good because there's loads of sellers in China, I'm sure, that want to sell legally, right? Let's see what China's got to offer legally. Let's see what, what they're up to and what, what they bring to the table. I'd love to see amazing Chinese stores that I can work on and help people with, right? But it's huge and, and there's a huge opportunity for um, dodgy sellers to come, off, come onto the platform. So I hope Etsy police it properly. I, I just don't think they will but I hope so. Number two, about China coming back to Etsy. Now, this is something that I know I'll be the only one mentioning about this, and that is quality score. So the more Chinese sellers that come onto Etsy breaking the rules with you know, copyright and trademark protected products, the more quality score is going to get leached away to these products, and the quicker these stores are going to make sales, pulling them away from other sellers who have similar legal products. This is a real problem, 
right? Because Etsy runs on quality score. And if you want to know what quality score is, check out some of my other videos. I go on about it all the time. Why SEO is not important. Why quality score is where all this is at. So we have to assume that a lot of the products coming onto the platform, if Etsy don't police it correctly, are going to be dodgy. Not all of them, of course not, but loads of them will be. And if anyone sits there thinking it won't be, you're being naive. They will try to rip the system left, right and centre. So quality score gets given to products that sell and it gets taken away from products that don't sell because they get left behind in the rankings. So this really, really worries me because Etsy aren't the quickest of cats, are they? They might take two months to close a store or three months or six months. You can rack up thousands of sales on dodgy products in that time. So this is a byproduct of the policing of the site. I hope they police it correctly and I hope that the uh, quality score distribution is going to the right shops and not the wrong shops. So the third point that I want to bring up is market advantages for Chinese sellers. So they have, for example, they have discounts on shipping. So they will be able to ship cheaper and express shipping to the Western world to compete with other sellers. So the, the, these are advantages we possibly, most countries can't have. So market advantages are really important and they will be able to use those to get a foothold and offer attractive um, shipping options because yes, no one wants to order products from China if they take 20, 30, 40 days to arrive. But if you can get it in four days express, which can happen easily, then it becomes a much more uh, attractive proposition for customers uh, ordering from China. So that comes into it as well. What advantages do the, do the sellers have over everybody else on Etsy? Shipping is one of the major advantages that they will have. Um, and the last point I want to make on this is the sheer number of sellers that are going to try to get onto the platform. Now, let me be clear, Etsy have added China to Etsy payments. They've not made an announcement yet. It hasn't been confirmed that Chinese sellers are going to be able to sell on the Etsy marketplace, but it looks that way. When a country is added to Etsy payments, usually, historically, it means they're going to be selling on the platform. But the thing with China is the sheer volume of people that are gonna try and get on the platform. It is going to exponentially increase the seller base size. So to get these sellers on, Etsy's either gonna do it right and have video interviews and things like that, but that means it will take months and months to, to clear the backlog of people that are gonna to want to get onto Etsy, or they're gonna do it badly, and they're not gonna set up the onboarding procedure correctly to get the sellers on to boost the figures for the shareholders and their quarterly reports so that everything looks rosy and everyone's happy with Etsy. But for me, Etsy have to get this right. If they don't get this right, it is going to be a cataclysmic mess up for the site. Cataclysmic. It's gonna, it is possibly gonna derail the site if they don't get this right. And we would all assume that they're gonna get it right, right? We all assume, hopefully, that they've got these procedures in place, just like Amazon do. But it's Etsy and nobody knows whether they've got it right or not. I don't know. I just hope they do so that we see the best of China on the Etsy marketplace and not the worst, which is always going to come with the best. Now, I want to hear what you've got to say on this. Get into my comments. Let me know what you feel about China's likely return to the Etsy marketplace. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Let me know what you think. And also, if you want to work with me, don't wait. Don't guess. If you need help with your Etsy store, now's the time. Now's the time to work with me. Links are in description to book a call with me and also discovery calls to work out how you can work with me. The link to that is in my description. They're free. They're 15 minute calls to work out. I will work out with you how to best move your store forwards and then you will pay for a consultation with me. It's a massively valuable service. All of that is in my description. Get into the comments and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers.